Hi, I have another vintage uh, quilted leather handbag here to add to my um, collection of uh, quilted leather bags. And I'm enjoying this because this is super cute. It's um, tiny and it's very classic and uh, simple. It has that Chanel-esque vibe, of course. Um, anything that is of quilted leather, whether or not it is uh, blinged, will always be attributed to um, Chanel. So um, this is a vintage handbag and it is by this Italian designer by um, Andre Cellini. I have some uh, Andre Cellini handbags in my collection, but this one is the latest um, edition. Okay, so this is in um, dark blue. Uh, it looks like black in here, but this is dark blue and it's really, really cute. A super light bag with super thin uh, long straps that uh, can be worn as crossbody. Why am I featuring my uh, vintage handbags one by one? Well, because they deserve, you know, they're just beautiful and really really well made and this is um real real leather it's super 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 soft and i would say this is uh, this leather is tough you know because oh there are there are tiny scuffings but uh, barely um, noticeable so that's the leather it's really really um nicely done not not a uh, flimsy uh, work because I have an Andre Cellini that is in um, like a uh, snakeskin pattern and it's just gorgeous. So this is the uh, this is the interior of the bag. I should have emptied that <laughs> earlier on because it's very very. Um, challenging to film with just uh, one hand because especially if my video is long and that my hand is so sore and it's very hard to open um, these things so it's by Andre Cellini and it says genuine leather made in Italy so anything that's made in Italy or France and sometimes Spain, I'm a sucker <laughs> for these um, handbags. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful handbag. So um, I would date this. Um, there are a lot of Andre Cellini purses online for sale on eBay and on Etsy and some on Poshmark. And um, uh, I think they date from 1960s to the 1980s, so in between you know so nevertheless it's still a vintage bag and it's still gorgeous up to you know this day so you can't beat that i i could wear this probably but um i'm just wondering because my most important accessory is my water I could never go out without a bottle of water, even if I'm just going to go around for a walk around, uh, you know, the village, which would just normally take you three minutes. I, I have to have water. Okay. Oh, I think the small bottle of water would fit in here. So this is really, really cute. So um, I'm, I may have to um, put another, I may have to DIY this again, but... Uh, Maybe just uh, stick or glue a uh, vintage jewelry over there. But uh, I think it's uh, pretty as is and it's more casual. So I will, I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay. So, yeah. So I, this is me uh, getting acquainted with uh, um, vintage labels and... Um, yeah, and, and to educate uh, other collectors out there, of course, uh, they know everything. But, uh, you know, when I come across a handbag, I still have to, um, you know, Google it. And, uh, okay, all right. So, it's like I have handbags from um, White Gate, Whiting and Davis. Um, I I sold my Bien and Davis as well, the, uh, one of the bags that was featured in the, in the Met 
Metropolitan Museum and um, a lot. Andre Cellini. I also have some vintage Lulu Guinness, um, Jane Shelton, Robert uh, Bestian, Gerardini, um, a lot. You know, <laughs> Ande or Andy, A N D E, Ande. Um, so, yeah, so I just have a lot of uh, vintage handbag labels um, downstairs. Uh, Ciccone or Ciccone, and uh, mostly Italian. So, my handbag collection is composed of 80% um, vintage, and they are mostly made in. Italy and I also like vintage uncline especially the uncline for Calderon and things like that it's just of superb quality okay so so I think uh, that's it <laughs> that's it okay bye